is not to say that we aren't hooked onto Google Map like everybody else is, but there's nothing quite like a good old Atlas map. And as you can see, we are presently somewhere. I'm trying to figure out myself where we are. We are just driving, uh, actually bypassing the city of Oxford. It's somewhere near Bedfordshire and uh, today our journey is going to take us all the way to Bristol. So yeah, there, yeah, you know, a final destination. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit chaotic because we're trying to find the right like sites where public transport is a little bit accessible, especially on the when we go to London or Manchester. So I never thought I would even go anywhere in Oxford in my life, Gav. There we are. But you have been here before, haven't you? Yeah, I actually came here um, when I was working in London. This is an issue all journalists face when they arrive in a country which I wouldn't say is new to us. And I came to watch the Lashings 11, I believe it was. And a friend of a funny story is for a friend of mine from Australia who just sort of. There's got to be a universal adapter around the world, isn't it? Well, certainly not in a camp. By the dressing room, and there was a brick wall there. And Chris Cairns, I remember, hammered the ball straight past over mid off. And basically, it bisected myself and my friend. So this was our beer glass, well this was my beer glass, that was his beer glass and the ball split and smashed right into the brick wall. I'm struggling here. I should have bought the Indian plug. Australia and England, they seem to not get along with anything. After that, I've always learned, whenever you're watching cricket, keep your eyes on the ball and when you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. Well, the World Cup wheels is certainly underway and we've ended up in Cheddar Gorge. Um, cheddar, of course, we all know about cheese. Uh, so we're off to that village just on the outskirts of Bristol. Uh, but this is the gorge behind us. I'll just sort of twirl the camera around and so behind us, it's really tall. Bit of a mission driving through these little narrow lanes that we've got here. And we What's weren't a... supposed to be here. Yeah, that's right. We've made a slight blunder on Google Maps. Let's blame Google Maps rather than blaming us. We went to the wrong campsite, but we're on track now. It and brought us here. So yeah, and no thank God for the mistake because it's got us here. A beautiful gorge. And what's so special about this gorge? Well, uh, it has nothing to do with the cheese, it turns out. Uh, it was rated the second grandest you know, natural wonder in Britain a few years ago. And this is where they found the oldest human remains or uh, oldest it, human remain yes. okay 9000 years old in uk yeah so wow. the oldest living being in uk was found here right and yeah. of course just as we're going to go through we're going to go past cheddar town which is famous for cheese so we're going to spend three nights there so that's <laughs> our next stop yeah, so that's walk up on wheels barrett gav and the cheddar gorge and the cheddar gorge see you soon